Well, okay, we are back in our Sample Rock Castle Construction Company with the home page displayed with the standard workflows showing. We're going to work with purchase orders. We're going to create a purchase order from scratch, and then we're also going to convert an estimate into a purchase order. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we actually go in here and click on this button right here, we're going to go to the edit and to the preferences area and you want to make sure that under items and inventory that you have all these checks turned on especially the one at top where it says inventory and purchase orders are active once you do that you also want to make sure that you're warned about duplicate purchase order numbers what a purchase order does is it's an internal control of items that you order for either a job or for resale or that kind of thing. And it also ties into inventory as well if you're tracking inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK to get out of that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and create one from scratch. So we're going to click on the button create a purchase order. And then we're going to choose a vendor. Our vendor is going to be Daigle Lighting because we're going to order a light fixture, a couple of light fixtures for our one of our remodel jobs. So we're going to go ahead and choose remodel as the class. And this is going to be for Christy Abercrombie's remodel bathroom job here. So in our items list, we're going to look for lighting. And this is a non-inventory part, which we don't have to worry about that. Uh, what we do want to do is we're purchasing two of these, so we're going to type the number two there, and that's going to adjust the uh, final amount. And as you can see, our PO numbers will automatically number, and then we're going to type a description in here, uh, light fixtures for bathroom remodel. Okay. So we want to make sure, and we can either ship it to the job or we can ship it somewhere else. So at, at this point, we're going to make sure it gets shipped to her address. So that way it will be there waiting for the folks who are going in there and actually doing the work. So we're going to save and close this. And I'm going to switch over to the vendor center, and you can see that that shows up on here as a purchase order and it's this one right here the 6239 that we just did okay now notice when we go back to the customer center nothing shows up in that area yet because we have not received anything once we receive something and it is applied to this job it will show up on here as either if we convert it to an invoice or something like that so let's go back here again to the vendor center and we will open this up and we can see what options we have. Um, we can create an items receipt from this purchase order where we receive items against an order and that's when those things will show up. But that's beyond the scope of this. But I wanted you to see that you can do the purchase order from the home screen. You can also take an estimate that we've already done and you can convert that into a purchase order as well. So let's go to the remodel job for Robert Allard. We're in our vendor center right now. No, we're in our customer center right now. Excuse me. As you can see, this is an estimate that we created in a previous exercise. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to open that up. And as you can see, we have an estimate for blueprints, and then we're going to go ahead and create the purchase order for that. We're going to do it based on this estimate. We can do it for all the items or just a few, but since there's only one item, guess what? We're going to do, do it for the whole shebang. But before we can do that, we've got to assign a class. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to call this the remodel. And then we're going to go ahead and, and just save that click on the save button to, to change that transaction. So now that we have a class assigned, we can go ahead and create this purchase order. 
you can either again create for all the items or for selected items but since we only have the one item then that's fine you can choose to have those items shipped directly to the customer if you want to otherwise it's going to go to the company rock castle construction but let's go ahead and leave it as defaulted here we're going to go ahead and do ok and once we do that the purchase order appears and as you can see we're going to order now from one of our vendors here and let's just choose one and it doesn't really matter for the purposes of what we're doing we can just choose one let's tag it to this zing building supplies and they do blueprints and we just need the one blueprint so we don't have to even put a quantity in there as you can see the purchase orders number consecutively we're going to go ahead and save that and close then we're going to go back to our vendor center click on Zing building and you can see the purchase order appears there and of course you won't see it tagged to your customer until you actually start receiving from that purchase order to that as you can see we, we still show the estimate and that's all we show at this point and then a previous invoice that has nothing to do with that so let's go back to our home page here and that is all I have for you today on this purchase orders lesson hopefully we'll see you again soon take care